Okay, guys. Um, this is EA Sports Game Changer and Tom B here. Um, the first thing we're going to touch on is the running to the outside. I know a lot of you guys um, were talking about you getting beat on the outsides here. Um, but first, if you look, um, I go into the depth charts. And as you can see um, in the depth charts, that um, I had the fastest players on the field as far as speed-wise and the key positions such as cornerback, linebackers, um, defensive ends. Defensive ends and Madden and linebackers are the key um, positions as well as cornerback where you want to um, have the fastest players on the field. I know it may seem weird, um, but um, that's the breaks. Uh, after you go through your depth chart, you know, and, and you see what you have in your depth chart and what players you want to have in your depth chart, then, you know, you're set to go. Uh, a lot of players um, today will put the fastest players um, on offense and on defense as well. They may sub them out on defense and put them on offense and vice versa, as the one guy showed in his YouTube video. And we're going to get to that in a bit. But the first thing I want to show you guys is um, how to stop the run. The toss play to the outside um, can be deadly if you don't know how to use it. I mean, excuse me, if you don't know how to stop it correctly. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at um, what the Oakland Raiders have on their um, depth chart. And as we all know, you know, McFadden, uh, 97 speed, Jacoby Ford, 98 uh, some of those players like that are already in the depth chart, so there's really no need uh, to to switch anybody around that much on the Raiders' offense. Um, the Raiders is probably the most team that you may see uh, while you're playing Madden 12, Madden 13, or whatever the case may be. Um, for some reason, they are the team to play with because of their speed all over the field. And that's what you want. You want to speed all over the field in order to become successful um, when you're playing online. I know a lot of you guys play sim football, and that's fine. Um, you can do the same thing with sim football as well. So let's go in here and take a look at um, this toss play. One of the, the formations you may see a lot uh, while you're playing online is the strong close formation. Whenever you see this formation automatically think toss to the outside counter uh, they might throw you off hit you with a counter and then go up the middle and then come back with a counter again but for us to stop this we're going to use the 43 over defense and we're going to look at the smoke mid zone now that's going to give you three linebackers in the yellow and three DBs. You have two corners and then one deep safety. So there's your three DBs. Um, and so what we're going to do here, uh, and bear with me as um, I get used to these controls right here because I'm used to just using the Madden 10 controls. Um, we're going to do a couple different things here. When you notice that your, your opponent... Um, it's coming out in a strong close. Now, mind you, when before you come out and you pick your um, your your defense, you want to always try to remember what formation numbers come up at the bottom of the screen. For example, two wide receivers, two running backs, one tight end. That's just an example. Because um, a lot of people, most times, they're not. They will only run five plays in Madden throughout the whole entire game. Nine times out of ten, or very slim to none, you may see him throw one play out there. Uh, but in this instance, we're going to take our right defensive end, and we're going to put him in contain. Now, when I say contain, you have to manually do this. So you will press down on your right, on your D-pad, and then once the, the um, screen comes up, you will see it and say contain. So you press over on the right stick. That'll put your defense in and contain. You want to go over to the other side, the opposite side of the ball, because we know the ball is going to go to the right. We're going to put that defense in the QB spot. So you press down, down again on the D-pad, and to the to the left on your right stick. That will put him in contain. I mean, excuse me, QB spot. 
Then you're going to take your, your linebacker that's already blitzing. You're going to re-blitz him, so you're going to press down, down. Click on him, press down, down on the D-pad, and put him up in the A-gap. And vice versa with the other linebacker. Down, down, put him up in the A-gap. Then we're going to take that safety over there, or that, um, that strong safety, and we're going to put him in the curl flat. So we're going to put him in the in light blue zone. And what that does is, once the ball snap, he's going to run over to that position. We're going to spread our line. So you will press over on the left stick, excuse me, over on the D-pad, and up. And then we're going to use our uh, safety um, as a good choice when you know they're going to run the ball. So if you sit here and you watch uh, and you see what I have going on here, you will notice that that defensive end on the left side of the screen, he will follow that ball all the way over to the other side of the football field. So we're going to set everybody up here. And then we're going to hike the ball. And if you watch real closely, that toss play got blown up. Now let's go ahead in the instant replay and we're going to see what happened here. So as soon as the ball was hiked, as I told you before, that defensive end on the left side of the screen, he's going to go all the way over to where the ball is because he's in QB spy. Whenever you're in a QB spy, they're watching what their quarterback does. We took that defensive end that was there on the right side of the ball, and we put him in contain. And what he did was run straight to the outside. We put that, that strong safety in the flat zone, and what that done was that helped for run support. But as you see, as I clicked on to that, that, uh, that defensive end, he jumps right over there to the ball. I mean, there was no stutter step or anything. He flew to that football. And that's what you have to do. When you want to stop the run, you have to put whatever side you think the, the ball is going to, the opposite side, defensive end, you put him in QB spy. That will help you with the run support, as well as your strong safety and a light blue zone. So we're going to try it again, and this time we're going to crash our line. So we're going to press over on the D-pad to the left and then to the right again on the d-pad and it's going to crash our line and this what this is going to do is going to make our line crash to the right to where the side of the ball is going to and let's see what happens here once we do this now i've re-blitzed everybody the middle linebacker the nose tackle i re-blitzed him as well to get extra support just in case to try to go up the center and as you can see nothing Nothing at all. Now, with this formation here, which is the 4-3 over, um, like I said, it doesn't have any light blue zone coverage, but it has uh, the yellow zone coverage, just in case your opponent tries to be slick and tries to uh, throw a pass. You still got coverage behind um, the run support. This is a great defense that you can use, uh, again, for run support or for passing plays as well because it brings pressure. And pressure we're going to talk about in our next video um, when it comes to the, the, the slant outs. So I hope that you guys um, learned something from this video here. I'm going to be doing, um, posting the thread. Um, what I'm going to be doing is lab sessions, which will be probably a half an hour, um, you know, for the first person, depending on how many people show up, um, a half an hour, uh, and I'm probably doing this all year long, and trying to teach you the basics of Madden NFL 12, or Madden in general, how to play football, um, how to apply pressure when pressure is needed, uh, how to stop certain plays, um, how to set up different um, running schemes, how to set up different passing schemes, how to set up you know, your defense to where you like it. So, again, here's a, a replay of how to stop the, the toss or anything going to the outside. Um, definitely, definitely, uh, the things that I just showed you here will blow up anything that tries to go to the outside. So, 
there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little tip tutorial. And again, um, have any questions? You can send me a message over Xbox Live. My gamer tag is uh, Anton B. Um, you can um, send me a message on Twitter. Um, my Twitter is Anton32. I am an EA Sports game changer, and these are the things that um, I enjoy doing um, to help the, the guys out in the community. So if you have any questions, again, feel free to hit me up there on Xbox Live, Anton B, capital A-N-T-O-N, space B, my Twitter, capital A-N-T-O-N, 32. Hope you enjoyed the video.